Harbor Basin. Today is Tuesday, September 8th. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Megan. And I'm Tristany. And on today's show, we will be talking about a rally in Cleveland for the dead police officers. Okay, so let's get the show started. I never thought this would be me. But now I'm on the verge of self-destruction. Now could this happen to me? Okay, so downtown Chattanooga parking meter rates have been raised from 75 cents to $1 an hour. The new rate took effect on September 1st, but that's not the only change. Evening meter times are being extended to an additional 1.5 hours until 6 p.m. Drivers will also be required to pay parking meters on Saturdays during normal enforcement times. While that's not a huge fee increase, some folks who come downtown say the costs add up. According to Carta, the new fees help parking... Wait, fun parking related projects like curbside credit card machines, the Parker Mobile app that lets you pay to park on your smartphone, and building more parking garages in the future. Residents say finding an open space on the street can be tough already. So, that's it for your lead story. Let's go to the weather. I'm <laughs> Wrong <Bam>. thing. Switch it. <laughs> well, no. there all it right. Is. Today's going to be partly sunny, 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon. There's going to be highs going to be in the 70s and the 80s, and there's going to be light wind. Tonight, it's going to be mostly cloudy with more chances of rain and thunderstorms until early morning, then a slight chance of showers early in the morning. Lows in the 60s to lower 70s, light winds, and there's also a 30% more chance of rain. Who would have known? All right, and Wednesday will be mostly cloudy, a chance of more rain and thunderstorms in the morning, then more rain and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Highs to the upper 60s to lower 80s, southwest winds 10 miles per hour or less, and there's also, guess what, a 70% chance of rain. That's all for weather. Back to the anchor. Just days before a general election, Guatemala President Otto Perez has been issued an arrest order on charges of graft. The country has been thrown into chaos by the detention order and the arrest or removal of other high-ranking government ministries and officials. Lawmakers stripped Perez of any immunity from prosecution protection he had enjoyed and which had kept from him, him from being charged. And ever since the graft scandal was officially discovered several months ago, the irony behind his arrest order is that the 64-year-old retired general won the presidency campaign on a crime and corruption ticket. So let's go over to a PSA. We are all brothers and sisters. I imagine that every person on earth has been affected in some way by the destructive spirit of contention, resentment, and revenge. The spirit of envy and hatred has led to some of the most tragic stories in history. Perhaps there are even times when we recognize this spirit in ourselves. We are not perfect. The people around us are not perfect. Jess! Jess, come on! Mom needs a car! Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> People do things that annoy, disappoint, and anger. Though we cannot look into another's heart, we assume that we know a bad motive or even a bad person when we see one. This topic of judging others could actually be taught in a two-word sermon. When it comes to hating, gossiping, ignoring, ridiculing, holding grudges, or wanting to cause harm, please apply the following. Stop it. Hey 
as Donald Trump has signed the Republican National Committee's pledge to endorse the eventual GOP nominee in 2016 and forego a run as the third party candidate in the general election. I will totally be pledging my allegiance to the Republican Party and the conservative principles for which it stands, he said at a press conference in New York City. And we will go out and we will fight hard and we will win, Trump said. This is good news for everyone that is looking forward to the success of the Republican Party in next year's election. Now that's all for national news. <laughs> Hey guys, for your sports, well, all I know is that we won the game Friday. That's all I have for you. And it went really good. Yeah. Anybody know the score? Like 41, 41 to 7. To six. 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 41 to 6 was the score. It's a volleyball game. And it's a volleyball game today. <laughs> Against, CGLA. Against CGLA. And that's all I have for sports. Let's go to regional news with Tristan. <laughs> Twenty-four officers have been killed by gunfire so far this year. Last year, 47 were killed, <laughs> were shot to death. Today, a group of Tennesseans gather in Market Square to honor the men and women in blue, in blue in a Blue Lives Matter prayer rally. Organizers said it's not about race or religion, but about the officers who put their lives on the line each day to keep the community safe. So if you see a police officer, thank them or shake their hand. Now that's all for regional. Good morning everyone. Today for lunch in line one we will be having Big Daddy pizza, veggies, trimmings, fruit and milk, and in line two we are going to be having fish and cheese sandwiches, baked curly fries, corn on the cob, fruit and milk. For breakfast tomorrow in line one, we are going to be having mini cinnamon rolls, fruit juice, and milk. And in line two, we are going to be having sliced bagels, cream cheese, orange juice, and milk. Fun fact for today is that did you know glow sticks have glass in them to make, their, make them radiate the light that is glowing from the inside? All right, that's all for lunch today. But I've tasted true love. residents, Harris Cherokee Valley River and Casino has been an abstract concept for the future, but in one month it will be actually be reality. In many ways, it's a reality already as most of the 1,050 slot machines are in place on the 50,000 square foot gaming floor. Only the finishing touches remain in to the biggest investment to come to Cherokee County since the building of Hiawassee Dam. Now to our sponsors. Okay, sorry, bear with us. We're a little bit, missing it's people. It's a Monday. Yeah. We're missing well, technically people. Technically, it's Tuesday, but it feels like a Monday. It's Monday on a Tuesday. And we have college day today, so if you're going to look for a senior or a junior, we're not going to be here. Yeah, well, some of them are. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, you guys, about that PSA, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Bullying is a real thing, y'all, seriously. It really is. It doesn't have to be in school, but social bullying is a big thing for Basin because that's what it is. You get on Facebook, you bully, and it's social, and Facebook's just the center of it. And name calling is a form of bullying, you know, just because it may seem like a joke to you doesn't mean that it's not going to hurt somebody's feelings. I'm not saying anything. That's part one of six. And it's part one of six. Yes. There will be more. Okay. Same. The 14th, 15th, 17th, and 18th, there's a hunter course safety at Benton Shooter Supply in Benton. Who would have guessed? The 18th is the end of the second three weeks. And as I've said today, college day is today. Birthdays today are Ann Price, St uh, Stacia Jewelry, mm -hmm. okay, Tyler Jewelry, Oceana Forbes, and Alex Schuler. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.